lot of people find it hard to organize their tests in the X-Ray for JIRA app. X-Ray gives us three tools, a test repository, test sets, and test plans, but it's not immediately clear what the difference is between them, let alone when to use each one. In this video, I'll explain what each one is, and I'll show how I like to use them in regulated testing. First, let's look at the test repository. To find it, we'll select the testing board from our project menu, and this is part of the X-Ray app. And when the testing board loads, we'll open the menu and select test repository. It may have already been selected by default. And we can see the basic purpose of the test repository is to provide a traditional way of managing your test cases, that is sorting them into folders. In this example, I have a folder for functional tests and a folder for user acceptance tests. And this is just an example of one of many ways to organize a test repository. You can design your folder structure any way that you desire based on any criteria, just as you would in organizing the files in your operating system or managing folders anywhere else. Now the test repository is an advanced software feature. It has a lot of great functionality that you may find useful, but it also has two limitations. The first limitation is that you can only create one folder structure which means that you can only organize your tests inside of it in one way. You cannot create different views or different organizations for different use cases. The second limitation is that the test repository is a project level feature. And so each test repository can only contain tests from its project. And if you're managing testing for an advanced application, you won't be able to mix tests from multiple projects into a single repository and organize them together. Because of those two limitations, I prefer using test sets a little more than the test repository. So let's look at those next. Here's an example test set that is already created. And we can see that a test set is just a group of tests. We might consider this to be the equivalent of a single folder inside the test repository. What I like about test sets is that they are a little bit more flexible than a test repository in that a test set can contain tests from multiple projects and a single test case can live in multiple test sets. For example, this is a test set that contains multiple test cases related to a single functional feature. And this is a second test set with a completely different use case where the tests are all intended to be executed for end-to-end -end release testing. And here we can see that this contains test cases from multiple projects in case you want to test related features from other pieces of software as part of your end-to-end -end testing in this example. And also it creates some of the test cases from our other test set. So these test cases are living in multiple test sets at the same time. And so we can see that flexibility gives us the ability to organize our tests in multiple different ways for multiple different use cases. You can organize tests by feature. You can organize them by phase. You can organize them by risk levels, etc. You can organize your tests in as many different ways as you want to or need to. You can almost think of test sets as a tagging feature more than a folder feature. Before we move on, one thing I want to highlight is that the test repository, as you see on my screen here, and test sets are not mutually exclusive. So you can organize your tests into folders inside your test repository and at the same time organize those same tests into test sets. So even though I have a slight preference for test sets over the test repository, and I usually don't bother maintaining a folder structure inside my test repository, you can do both if you choose to. Okay, we just saw the test repository and test sets, and we saw how those can be used for organizing our test cases. The last item in our tool set our test plans, which are a little bit different. Instead of organizing our test cases, test plans are used for planning our testing activities. Let's look at that right now. A test plan is something you may create when you're organizing your tests for a specific testing activity or testing event. For example, in development testing, you may create test plans for the end of sprint testing at the end of each of your sprints. In that case, you would have one test plan for each sprint or you may create end of release testing for doing the final testing and final regression testing of a new software release. 
in which case you would have a separate test plan for each software release that you're testing and so forth. Just like a test set, a test plan is an issue type in JIRA that you can create through the create issue dialog. You'll select an issue type of test plan and give it a summary and description. In this example, we'll create a test plan for a new software release. And when we view our new test plan, we can see it starts off empty. And so we need to add tests to it. We can add new tests, existing tests, or we can add tests from a test set. And this shows how test sets and test plans are related to each other. Test sets are a collection of tests that we can use to build our test plans. So in this example, I just selected my test set for end-to-end -end regression testing, and it automatically added all of the test cases that have already been flagged as standard tests that we use in our end-to-end -end regression testing. And of course, we could continue adding more tests. We could add existing tests individually, or we could continue adding tests from additional test sets to build our test plan for this specific testing event. The next thing I want to show is viewing this test plan on a test board. Now we're viewing our test plan inside the testing board. The testing board is the same place that we already saw our test repository. And in this view of the test set, we can see there's a folder structure available to us, which means we do have the ability to create an organization of tests inside our test plan rather than just a flat list. For example, I can create a folder for end-to-end -end testing. And I can add these tests I've already added into this end-to-end -end testing folder. I might also create a separate folder for targeted regression testing. And maybe there's a couple of scenarios that the team has identified as high value regression testing scenarios for this specific release, in which case I might add those scenarios individually like this. And by organizing these tests into folders inside my test plan, this gives a more granular view for tracking progress during execution and for reporting during our final release. So now that we have our test plan designed and organized, we can next plan the execution of this test plan by assigning these tests to one or more executions. So you could create one master execution for this entire test plan and add all of the tests, or you can do it folder by folder, right click on the folder and add your tests from that folder into a test execution. That's what I have just set up for this test case. I have two test executions, one for each folder. And now that this test case is planned and the test executions are planned, I can go to the issue view and I can route this for approval and approve it using any third party signature app. And now this test plan is pre-approved and ready for execution. And of course, as testing progresses, we'll be able to monitor the progress of this testing right here in the issue view and also on the testing board where we'll be able to monitor progress, not just at the overall level, but also at the folder level. And of course we can do reporting at the folder level too. And that's it. We just saw a few different ways of organizing our tests in X-Ray for JIRA. We have the test repository, which is a more traditional folder-based organization system. We have test sets that are a little bit more flexible and give us the ability to organize our tests in any number of ways and also across projects. And we have test plans that allow us to plan for specific testing activities by pulling tests in from test sets or individually planning our executions, pre-approving our test plan, and monitoring execution through completion. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more, go to www.agileinnovations.tech. Thanks for watching.